Hey everybody, Rhonda Giraffa, Affiliate Learning Links, and in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to use an FTP uploader so that you can upload your files onto your server. And uh, the um, software that I personally use is FileZilla. This is a free software, and you can download it through CNET.com. There's a few other places out there too, but I really trust CNET. And um, you know, I, I, anything I've ever downloaded from them, I've never had any bugs or viruses or anything come through. So it's a, uh, a website that I trust, and um, I'm sure you'll find to really like these guys a lot too. So go ahead and get into CNET, search for FileZilla, and then you click on the download link, download it into your computer, and then do the install. And uh, as soon as you do that, we'll get on the other page here. So go ahead and pause now do uh, these two action steps download and install and uh, then unpause this video and we'll be on the next page and I'll show you how this bad boy works okay so here we are uh, with the uh, FileZilla application open the software is now open and what you're going to want to do is connect FileZilla to your hosting account so uh, you may be using HostGator or one of the other various hosting accounts out there. I personally use HostGator, and um, I think everybody knows that by now, right? So what you can do is you will go into, you can drop down your menu into Site Manager, and you can open that up. And, of course, I've already got uh, tons of uh, sites in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a brand new site on here. So let me shut this down and then I want to show you exactly how to get connected to your hosting account and what you need to do to make this happen. So we're going to shut that out. Okay, so here we are in the um, panel of FileZilla. Now I've got some things that are sitting on here but you won't see that right when you uh, open yours up. It'll most likely be blank everywhere through here. But I just want to explain the layout of this to you. And, and these two are your most important side panels. This side, in, in most instances, yours may be flipped around the other direction, but um, on the left-hand side is everything that's on your computer. The right-hand side will be your um, hosting account and where you're going to upload your uh, files to. So you're going to start over here and it's going to start zipping over into the right hand side. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to get to your hosting account and what they mean by that is you're actually going to type in your domain, your website. And you can do um, www. and then we'll do uh, my learning link share for this purpose, dot com, okay? And then the username, when they ask for the username, that username is the username that you use when you are getting into your hosting account. So you've got your username and your passcode for your cPanel on your hosting account. And um, so I'm going to type in my username, type in my passcode, and then they're gonna ask for the port. Now, uh, FTT, uh, FTP port is um, going to be a port 21. So you're going to type in port 21, and then you're going to click Quick Connect. So when it does that, it's going to just zip everything open. And when you know that it is successful, it's going to tell you the status, directory listing successful. So now you'll see everything on this side. Now, you've got an option here, and this is where you're going to start picking and choosing what you want to do um, from your computer side within these two panels. This is going to be everything that you have, your desktop, your documents, uh, things that are in your C drive, which you will probably never mess with. Um, but it, really, the, the two biggies are going to be your desktop documents and possibly your pictures, uh, depending on where you have things filed. Now, once you click on one of these, we'll say Documents, for instance, this is all the folders that you have set in your Documents area. So however you are uh, keeping your files on your computer, it's going to basically show everything that you've got over here. So this is a really, just really cool stuff to work with. Um, 
So now you've got everything on this side pretty much loaded up and you're going to see remote site. What you want to do is you want to click on this little uh, folder here and now that's going to open everything within your remote site folder. And the next step that you'll take is you're going to want to look for public HTML and you're going to open that. Now in the public HTML you will have a drop down uh, section from there and so because I have quite a few um, uh, domains we're going to look for the learning link share folder because this is what we opened everything in. So here is learning link share and this is going to have um, pretty much a blank side over here. Now I do have an extra folder called go and um, this is basically everything else that is subbed from my learning link share domain. So um, open up your uh, actual domain name which would be what you know dogs.com whatever you have and so now you'll have that open uh, within everything here this is showing everything that I have uploaded to my files okay um, you may have a different domain that you also have on the same hosting account so um, you know I've got quite a few here and you know whatever it is you want to use whatever you're using is what you want to open up so now you have your uh, file open in your public HTML you've got the um, domain that you want it to be open in so I've got public HTML I've got my affiliate uh, learning links open and I've got my documents open on this side so now I have all of my files with my documents and say I want to upload a file and you're going to need to know all this if you start building uh, landing pages and squeeze pages because you have to upload your files before you publish those squeeze pages or things won't look right and your pictures won't show up everything has to be put into your files it has to be uploaded into your um, actual uh, hosting account into the files in your hosting account so just keep that in mind if you're starting to build a squeeze page or a landing page and you don't have all the pictures uploaded all of your um, you know text documents uploaded they won't show up the right way so um, just keep that one in mind so we'll um, let's see we'll just we'll just select something uh, random here and what I'll do is I'll double click on it and you can see that everything already went through it's that fast so it says F fbsecrets.html and what you want to do is check on this site and find it and it's uploaded that simple that easy so um, that's about it on this tutorial and uh, if you have any questions or any problems with it just go ahead and shoot me an email uh, you can email me directly um, through the membership site and most people that have this video um, are opted in to the affiliate learning links uh, page there so if you're not go ahead and get over there and uh, put your email address in and um, if you've got any questions just go ahead and shoot us an email and we'll get those uh, answered for you okay see you in the next tutorial